Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 70. Episode 70. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of celebrating like as we're moving through the numbers, how much fun it is. <laughs> so you get to count with me. You get to have the weather report with me from Cincinnati. <laughs> All the things you learn in this podcast. Uh, today's Friday. It is sunny. It is cold. We finally have a feeling of fall in the air. It went down to 39 last night, and when I walked Star this morning, I had on a winter jacket. <laughs> I had to run with my gloves and my hat this morning. Oh, I don't know if I'm quite ready to give up summer as much as, as much as we're tired of the heat. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for winter. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But today it's beautiful. It's really a crisp, beautiful fall after. Well, afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> it's afternoon as I record this. Ah, what a week, the new moon to start the week, and here we are, integrating all that has been coming up for us with partnerships and karma, and balancing ourselves, and the collective balancing with the individual, I mean, there's so much, so much, so, ah, perhaps we begin just with an exhale, you know, we release release some of what we have been carrying and holding and trying to process or integrate or understand. It is amazing how rarely we breathe in synchronization with other people. I don't know if you notice that for yourself when you're around lots of other people or just a few people yoga class is where I really notice it you know the instructor sets the breath in many of the positions we're moving through and then I'm trying to match my breath to her breath and then I'm hearing the breath of everyone around me and everyone's got their own rhythm and sometimes it's just a gift to breathe with someone and exhale just know that someone else is in the same pause or cycle or moment that we are in. So here today, right now, like <sighs> I'm exhaling with you. We can just release a little bit of what we carry and hold and do for so many around us. I am in the space in between, as I like to call it. We had one new moon circle last night and then we have another one tonight. And it's always exhilarating. (laughs) It's so exhilarating to connect with humans in a really deep way to be able to sit with someone and be given permission to see them, to truly see them and support them and cheerlead for them and encourage them. It is such a gift, such a privilege. So when I sit in the space in between two circles, I'm still in awe at all the releasing, the exhaling, the breathing together that happened last night. And then in awe at the abundance of my life that there's more (laughs) there's more arriving tonight like oh wow (laughs) it's so beautiful it's so beautiful 
So in addition to breathing and pausing and right, just releasing together, what I was aware of this morning in my meditation was this, the word that came forward was touching. And I was trying on putting different words in front of it or after it. And what I kept hearing in my ear, in my mind's eye, was just this whisper of touching. Just that one word with no parameters or definitions or explanations, like touching. And so I, I share my understanding of it and then allow space for whatever comes up in you as you listen to this. One of the highlights or the uh, greatest gifts or lessons of being a soul in a human body is that we are in a physical form. And so we have these physical senses. We can taste and we can hear and we can see and we can touch and we can express. Like we have all of these abilities to um, use our senses to understand the physical forms of food, of nature, of humans, of words, of concepts, ideas. Like we are able to create form and then play with form and then uh, expand form. And it's all through senses. And what I find so often in my healing work, especially when I'm directly with someone, but even in my virtual sessions, so many people are craving touch. And I don't mean sexual touch when I say that. I mean the simple connection of one human being to another that says, I'm right here, you're right here. It's just like what we're doing with breath. We breathe together, we touch together. When when you are, I'll speak for myself, when I am with a client, for example, and I can see their pain or see their frustration or their disappointment or whatever emotions are moving in them, simply putting my hand on someone's shoulder steadies their energy field. Putting my hand on someone's heart and saying, I'm right here. Your heart it's safe right now. You can feel whatever you need to feel. It is the most profound gift to give from one human to another when we touch in such reverent, um, respectful, human to human ways. When you hold someone's hand when they're crying, when they're grieving, you know, when someone is ready to transition, when someone is giving birth, when it's a little child who's scared and doesn't understand what's going on in the world around them. Touch, like simply touching someone, heart to heart, human to human, sometimes that's all we need. Sometimes that touch opens up all the healing that has been waiting to arrive. And yet because we're so afraid of touching, we're taught by society by horrible examples and stories where abusive touch is normal or acceptable or tolerated that becomes the it's like we use that as an excuse to not touch at all and that's going to the opposite extreme abuse is never okay invasive touch is never okay but for us as a humanity to withdraw touch, which I feel like so many have done and continue to do. When we withdraw touch from the other, we're losing one of our primary ways of communicating, our primary sense of connection. We're bringing that in and shutting it down. And then humanity suffers from that. Individuals suffer from that. That fear of touching wrong is is so consuming that it has taken away the permission for us to touch right, to touch with just simple kindness, but says, I'm right here, and I'm right here with you. We're doing this journey together. 
And I don't have the answers or know the way to change society. What I do, what I can do, is trust the moments where I know that person across from me needs to be touched and then ask their permission and touch them. Ask if I can give them a hug and hug them. Ask if I can hold them while they cry and hold them. Put my hand on their heart and go, I'm right here. Your heart, it's okay. Your heart is okay and it's going to be okay. And it's never actually been damaged or wounded. It's just the stories, the pain that we put on top of it that has us keep withdrawing, shrinking in, going smaller, tighter. Putting our hand with love on another's heart is such a healing. Oh, it's so immense what can change in a human's journey when they see and feel that kind of compassion. So I practice touching in my work. I ask permission. I make sure that that person always feels safe. I use eye contact. You know, it's... it's um, It's with the highest, purest expression of love. And I do that with my friends. I do that with my family. Touching is just a natural part of how I express love. And it's one of my love languages. I don't know if you've read the book about love languages, but um, there's five primary, and touch is one of my primary. And I crave that touch back, and I've learned to ask for touch when I need it, when I need to be held and hugged and told that the world is okay and we're all going to be fine, I ask for it if I'm not getting it. My children and I have a beautiful relationship, like, hug me! <laughs> my son especially, hug me! Last night after my circle ended, I climbed into bed with my husband, I'm like, hold me! <laughs> hold me! That was so much energy to move, like, right? Let me just land in your arms and feel safe and held so I can go back into my work tomorrow and be ready to hold more. That's, that's the gift, the purest expression of the gift of touching. And so I bring it into the space and name it and simply invite each of us to ponder, like, what's our relationship with touching and how do we, how do we come into the highest alignment with it? Where do we need to heal and release so that we can show up and touch another human with compassion and strength and steadiness and support and honoring and receive that back from those around us. That's how we heal humanity's relationship with touch, in my opinion. We do it right where we are and we just continuously show up in this vibration. A beautiful way to wrap up this week. Just a beautiful way. I send you into your weekend with such love and joy and gratitude for this life that we are all living. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for tuning in to today's vibration. Let's take this message of pure love out into all of our communities and continue expanding love here on Gaia. So much love from my heart to yours.